Hey gang, welcome back to the Four Buyers Only Realty YouTube channel and Dwight's famous windshield tours. Today we're back in St. Augustine Shores at a KB community called Sable Estates. And we'll see if you can get that sign there and let you guys see it. We do appreciate you riding along. Very cool KB community. Huge lots in here, a lot of great floor plans. You can still customize your homes and we wanna make sure you guys get a good look at it. So come on along and let's go check out Sable Estates here in St. Augustine Shores. All right, gang, let's go get back into Four Buyers Only Realty mobile and you know who i got riding along with me today oh hey oh she didn't even know i was going to come see her anyway sharon's riding along with us today so we're going to go check out sable estate sharon yeah i wanted to check it out here in the shores all right gang let's go check out sable estates um right over here to our left which we'll get to well let's take a left right here and we'll show you just in front of us is the community mailboxes you'll see them down there on the right but let's take a left here we're going to ride right by the uh, model center and they've got three models here the first one's being used as their office and then there's two others which we've just filmed so you'll see those on the channel on the playlist and uh, check it out but i want to point some things out to you guys while we're riding along one of them is the large lot size what do you think of those sharon Oh, I love the large lots. Plenty yeah. of room for a pool. Yeah, plenty of room for a pool. Now, this is where another home will eventually go, but I'm going to kind of keep the camera to the right, and you'll see the distance between the houses. Definitely different than most. Look at the, the, look at the span between those houses. I'm not sure what the setback is, but that's probably 15 feet on either side, maybe 30 feet between the houses. I think most of the lots are about, what, 80 feet, 85 feet wide? Yeah, 85 to 130-ish deep, 85-ish. Nice. Um, so right now we're going to come up to the end of the road here, and they're developing. This is going to be a total of, what, do you, what did Jacob tell us, Sharon? About 270 homes. About 270, just shy of like two, yeah, 267 or something. So anyway, this has got plenty of room for growth here. So plenty of time to get in on a great home. So we're going to go take a look at the other side over there in just a minute. Hey, guys, you know what, you know what one of Sharon's favorite drinks are? Sangria. Sangria. What do you think? You want to live on Sangria Street, Sharon? That would be great. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Like, how about um every day is sangria every day. every day is sangria day so very cool let's go check out some more of sable estates here again community mailboxes here and the amenities are part of the old um, shores amenities which we'll film at some point as well um they got pool and um property on the intercoastal waterway very cool wow that guy's coming around pretty quick holy cow um anyway so sorry about the manholes as you guys know they are my nemesis some really beautiful home sites over here on the right hand side maybe we can stop here in just a second they're not actually on some water maybe we'll find a home site we can kind of get in between and take a look at so big big homes um i mean home sites with very good size homes on them let's take a right here we're going to take a right on santos lane at the corner of sangria lane <laughs> sharon wants to live on sangria lane <laughs> So very nice. A lot of different floor plants. Here you go, guys. This is going to be give a great view of the distance between the houses. Look at these. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. So if you want a little larger home site, and they don't exist in St. Augustine and St. John's County, they just flat don't exist anymore. So this is um, a this is a gem right here. Look at the distance between those houses right there. Now, yeah, those so, are on the water over there, Sharon. Yeah, it's so nice too on the side of the home when you're looking out the windows, you're not looking inside your neighbor's window. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. A lot of three-car garages. Yeah, a lot of three-car garages. So there's some, there's, these houses are on the water back there. Nice views. Well, this one says sold, so maybe we can come up here and you guys can get a good look at it. We'll get out and walk a lot here real quick for you. So, All right, gang, it's starting to sprinkle out here, but you can see how big these lots are. Look at that. That's the house to the right. That's the house to the left. And pretty much where they've cleared is going to be the property lines. So let's take a look. This is on the water. That fountain right back very cool i'm going to show you how much space is behind these houses too plenty of room for anything you want to do holy moly and to be honest with you even once you i mean the houses are in the starting in the low fours the base prices so once you tune them up maybe you're going to be in the mid to high fours you know once you go to design center 
So pretty cool. And that's just a guess. That's just kind of a rough estimate. You could be up in the high fours, maybe low fives, depending on what you do to the house. But definitely you could stay in the fours and be in this community. Pretty amazing. I'm impressed, seriously impressed. So I walk back to the truck. I want to also reiterate they use KB Homes is using zip board and um, radiant barrier. And I'll show you that in a second here. We'll go buy a house that's under construction. I can show you and what the benefits are to that, okay? All right, gang, as promised, I'm going to show you a couple of the building techniques KB Homes is using. As we walk up to the house, you can see it says zip system on the walls. What this, this is an OS and B board sheeting for the outside of the house, but it's, if you will, impregnate it with this green coating. And that's for their logos and stuff. But what that does is it hides, if I can come around here, there's glue. There is glue all the way pressed through this board. All right, let me turn you around a little bit. What they do, this board starts out super thick at the manufacturer and it goes through what they call calendar rolls and there's glue inserted, injected into the material, into the board, the strand boards, and it compresses it down to about 7 16 It makes it super strong, super structural. So this is going to be a super strong house when they're done with it, okay? And then also, if you look up in the attic space, let me point you up. You see that right there, that's called radiant barrier. That's the roof decking and on the inside of it, it has that foil that's attached to or glued to a um, part of it. And what that does, it allows your heating and cooling bills to lower because it keeps the attic space cooler because it radiates heat back out. All right, I want to make sure you guys saw that. Here you go, look at this. I'm not sure which plan this is, but great home, great backyard, on some water. So lots and lots of stuff. And they use the radiant barrier even out over the porches, which is gonna help keep you know heat from coming down while you're sitting out there enjoying your afternoons and stuff so anyway let's go finish up this tour hey guys before i go finish this tour i just noticed this these are prefab walls these are actually made kb homes is obviously using prefab walls here these are actually made in a factory why is that important to you because first of all they're not handmade on the job site they're more precise actually it's actually a better thing to have prefab walls in a factory because they're all built to the exact same specifications you can see the zip boards put on them already the, then the um, subcontractors come out according to those numbers they put it together like a jigsaw puzzle you know it's like a paint by numbers thing but every house is built to the exact same specifications let me turn you around that way they can control the environment they can control the quality of the home more precisely and it's probably a, a less expensive for them and you in the end get a really good home so anyway let's finish this tour all right gang here we go put this i gotta put it in drive if we're gonna go um do you see that sharon they're using prefab walls here really wow yeah, that's pretty good right yeah um, built in factory yeah built in a factory more precise more control over the quality pretty amazing and of course the trusses have always been there made it a trust plant and everything so um, let's finish this here little tour we're at San Antonio Drive and uh, Santos Lane and what we'll do is take a left here and show folks the remainder of what's still to be built which is going to be a total of what uh, 269 home sites so there's one of those manholes guys I'm telling you and you ask why well why did they sit up so far well they do it just to irritate Dwight no <laughs> not really they do it because they're not finished with the roads and they won't finish with them until after um, the rest of the homes are being built because they don't want the big trucks dump trucks and cement mixers tearing up the roads for the people that live here well I think we need to put it in four-wheel drive Dwight <laughs> you think I think we not need some four-wheel drive you're probably right but anyway you can see all these beautiful home sites this thing's gonna go way out there and um, it's gonna be pretty cool so plenty of time to get in here plenty of great value here and in the middle of st augustine at four hundred thousand dollars or you know mid to high fours once you design center up your house and a large lot amazing anyway guys we appreciate you riding along on the windshield tours today at kb homes um, sable estates here in the shores sure. yeah it's a great community here in the south end of st augustine yeah, so we do, again, we do appreciate you guys. Check out our website, Welcome Home St. John's. Our phone numbers are there. If we can help you guys, like we've helped so many other folks and make happy, happy homes, we would really love to do that. So anyway, we appreciate you guys. I want you to have a fantastic yep. day. Give us a call. You've got our numbers.